Greetings, Internet. My name is Chris. I'm back on my Dragon Knight on the live server. And I want to show you what has become of the healing I can do. So first off, this is in my normal Imperial City Dreadnought setup that I showed you in one of my previous videos. I have not changed a single thing about it. So let's first off try the heals. Oh, actually, I'm going to show you my champion points first. Uh, I've gathered enough uh, champion points to get 39 points into crit recovery. But I've also changed a little bit where I only have 75 in blocking expertise. Because the last 25 points I put into this will only give me 5%. So I've held off on doing that for a bit because I think crit recovery gives you more. I still have a hundred points in blist, so yeah. Okay, so let's jump off. Craigling blood, ignis shield, heal, and let's see. It is twelve thousand divided by fifteen four sixty eight. I can see this in the top left of my uh, screen. Alright, so that is 77.5%. Okay, 77.5%. Remember that number. Actually, I'll just type it down. 77.5. That's good. Okay. Now we're gonna put on our different setup. Uh, if you have seen the post I made on the forum, I had a very long post about uh, how you could set up your character in a way that you could get in insane heals. So the setup I'm using for this is two-piece Eternal Yukata. You could use the normal Yukata because we're just using the two-piece for the 4% increased healing taken. Then we're using four pieces of unassailable. You can see I have a helmet and I have uh, two rings and a necklace. These are vet 10 because you can't get them higher. Then I'm using five pieces of uh, Twilight's Embrace. You can see I have uh, I have belt, legs, uh, belt, not, yeah, belt, shoes, gloves, shoulder piece, and sword. And then I just have the covenant shield. It doesn't really do anything though. Okay, so let's try it again. Jump off. Okay, it's uh, 14,230 divided by 16,231. That is 87%, 87.6 to be precise. So 87.6%. Okay, so just doing that, we went up by about 10%. And I think it's mainly because of the Twilight's Embrace. Okay, so this is without the Ritual Mundestone. Okay, so let's look at this. So this increases our healing done. We're gonna say yes, we're gonna pick up this. Now something they changed is that this this thing will do, um, this thing will do, uh, how, how do you call it? It will do 10% extra healing done. Okay. Remember my champion points are still, I still only have uh, 39 in that. So that's 9% from that one. Quick recovery. Just jump off again. Do the same thing. Okay, if you're looking at the number, they're getting they're getting very close to each other. That is 95.7 percent. One last thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna redistribute points going into this one, and we're just gonna just gonna get 61 points. 61. 61. So we can get this up to 100. There you go. Okay. Now let's do that jump again. I now have 16 points from Crit Recovery. Remember we got the Ritual thing as well. That gives us an ox another 10%. Heal up. Do jump off. Heal. Look at this. 16,253 and we took 16,194. We just healed ourselves for 
Um, so yeah, that, that's possible. If you really want to do it, you can get 100% uh, healing effectiveness uh, outside of Cyrodiil with, um, with this setup. And this is on a Khajiit, by the way. If you, if you get a, well, an Agonian, you would get another 9% uh, thereabouts. So you could get almost 110% uh, with this kind of setup. And you only have to have the um, coagulating blood going, which lasts for 20 seconds, and then just do Igneous Shield, Dragon Blood, and that's 100% or more of your missing health. I think it's kind of crazy. Um, even in PvP, this kind of setup is still really good, because you have to take in, into consideration that everyone's healing is reduced, and everyone's damage is reduced, and I could probably still get 50 or more percent uh, healing effectiveness from this setup, because of the way that um, Twilight's Embrace is applied, because as far as I can tell, Twilight's Embrace is not... Um, it's not affected by the healing debuff. It's just another 10% it adds on top of the calculations. Anyway, so that's uh, that's just one I wanted to show you. Uh, I'll have a little clip here from something I, I did yesterday that I thought was kind of exciting. Alright, are you ready? Let's just check. I have... Oh, why aren't these stacking? Oh, they only stack to 60. Okay. So I have 60 bone shards. Here's the trophy vault. Interact. Ooh. What a nice little room. Oh, there's a bunch of alchemy bottles. Is that weird? I'm not even interacting with the fucking chest. I just want those stupid bottles. Give me all the bottles. Memorials, you said, right? Memorial district, right. Alright, fuck it. Enough of these stupid bottles. Well, actually, there's so many of them. God damn it. Alright. Oh, oh, it turned him into a bone-carved key. Oh. This cold iron key resembles a charred skeleton finger. It should unlock the bone shard trophy chest. Okay. Picked up a lot of this crap. Alright. <laughs> there's, more, there's more bottles. <laughs> uh, I'll never get out of here. That's how it, they just keep you trapped in here. Okay. Here we go, and ooh, ooh. What did you get? Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> say it. I won't say it. I'll link it. I'm on loading screen. And you'll never know. I got a maze of willpower, sharp print. Mm, nice. Very nice, yeah. If I could get two of those, I'd put those on my sword for sure. And then I got a racial motif, chapter 17, Sifkin boots. Nice. Yep, very nice. Okay, so I wonder what happens if I go out here. It's a balcony. Oh, sweet. 